What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a training guide for one of the best players in world football at the moment and one of the best players in eFootball 2023, Kvrash So this guy is an absolute monster for Napoli, tearing it up. And look, he is one of my favorite players to use. Way back when he was a bit of a hidden gem, obviously as his form and his, you know, his play in real life have started to kind of getting better and better over the year. He's started to get better and better cards over the year. And I think this is the best version of him that they have released. We're going to get into that in a couple of minutes. But look, he's got everything you could possibly want. He's got 29 levels, so you can train him up in a multiple um, multitude of ways, multiple different ways. He's got 90 across everything with the team playstyle proficiency. He's got play styles that of trickster, amazing uh, run, speeding bullet, incisive run. He's also got double touch flip flap, two of the best skills in the game with a long range curler dipping shot, the Rabona skill and the gamesmanship skill. So if you are letting the AI uh, play, um, he's going to pick up incredible positions. He also has unwavering form and with his form currently in real life, he is on A rating and B rating like week in, week out, which is insane. Um, the consistency that this guy shows, right? So starting off there with our base stats, we actually have three different versions of Kraschkilia that we're going to be taking a look at, right? So, so we are over here on eFootballDB.com. And as I said, we've got three different versions of him, right? So the first version, we'll do a quick comparison in a second, but I'm going to keep this training guide very, very simplified for the type of player that you are and the type of player that you should train up for Kavardana, as he's been nicknamed in the Serie A. If you want to get the best out of him for your play style, right? So looking at this one, we're looking at a shooting, a cut in winger, right? So when I say a cut in winger, it means that you're going to be getting the ball at wide, but you're going to be coming central with it. So think of Neymar, think of Son, think of Mbappe. Um, you've got pace, you've got balance, you've got dribbling, you've got everything that you could possibly want, but you've also got nice passing and finishing skills with a lot of kind of chances coming in from, you know, you're taking a couple of chances, you're going to be getting on rebounds, you're going to be cutting in, you're not going to be really hugging the touchline. So this is that version of him here. He goes to a 93 overall, and these are the stats that you're going to be looking at, right? So you've got your dribbling, ball control, and tight possession in the 80s. You've also got finishing and low pass at 80 each. And then on top of that, you've got stamina, speed, and acceleration. In nice stats there as well, coupled with the player skills. This is a very good version of him if you take a lot of shots. If you cut in and do a lot of shots, you know, kind of like crossing the goalkeeper's body. Or if you cut in, you get the ball out wide, you cut in from the left or right, and you're going to be one-touch passing and getting into the box and being able to score with like curl shots or stuff like that. I would say this is probably because of V2.4 at the moment. This is probably the hardest version of him to use. I really do think that wingers just really excel at being wingers, and we're going to get to that in a second, right? The second version we have of him, and you can pause this video, lads, on these training guides at any time if you want to copy these training guides. The second version of him is this one. This is an overall um, version of him. This is kind of like the auto-allocate version that the game gives you. Auto-allocate usually just, you know, focuses on, on the overall rating, getting that up as high as possible. And this gives you a 95 rated version of him. You've got 91 ball control, 92 dribbling, 88 type possession. There's the training guide for it down here. As I said, you can copy that. We will have a comparison here in a second. We've also compared it to a dribble centric. This is my version of him that I have 94 overall. So he gets one down on the overall compared to the auto allocate. But his speed, his acceleration, his ball control, his dribbling, his tight possession, everything is perfect. And of course, we've got that balance, which we'll get into in a second. And last but not least, we are going to be comparing him versus the MVP free version of him that you could get with the nominating contract, right? So when we look at the stats here and the player skills, all, everything is going to be pretty much the same. Apart from, you know, the shooting, the overall version of him and the dribbling version of him compared with the free version of him. First things first, right? Even though we've got the extra player levels with the MVP version on the right, he is a lesser card, I think, than this new one. This is the best version that they have released of him. Obviously, there's a couple of um, changes to the card. You know, there's a couple of changes to the card, but they're all Roman flank as a play style. And then when you look at the shooting stats and the shooting ability of the, of the shooting version of Cavaradana, we have got really nice stats there across the board. We're taking a slight hit on ball control and dribbling, but we are getting 80 finishing and 80 passing. On the overall version of him and the dribbling centric version of him, 
We've got slight changes to the ball control, the dribbling, just tiny changes. But the real change comes there between the offensive awareness and the acceleration and the balance. The balance for this card, in my opinion, is where you should go with this card, right? I think if you look at the overall version of him, you are slightly lacking, even though you get 75 finishing, you are slightly lacking that acceleration and balance that turns him into a monster winger, right? So, personally speaking for me, if you play quick if you play quick counter, I would go with the overall version of him, the 95 rated version of him. You know, you've got your passing fairly average. Um, you've also got, you know, the shooting version of him. You've got quick touch pass. He doesn't have one touch pass. So you need to have quick zippy passes to be cutting in and out, overlaps a lot of that. If you are playing out wide or possession or you like to take people on, you like to control the games, the dribbling version of him is definitely the best in my opinion. I think he's a monster. I think he's one of the best players in the game by a mile. Him and Dembele, in my opinion, and Sané are probably the three best wingers away from the epic players, like standard players or player of the weeks. So that is it for me. That's a training guide. It's an in-depth one. Let me know what you guys think. Spent a bit of time on this one. So if you enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back quite soon with another one of these videos where I show you a very good hidden gem that's going, going to be a little bit slept on, trust me. And we will show you in a second. So I'll be back in a bit. Until next time, peace.